got a new show for y'all. Got a damn good show. Today's topic, The View. Some black dude went on there yeah. talking crazy. Some woke, educated dude went to Harvard. <laughs> when I think of Harvard, I think of, you know, very intelligent people. Smart people. Yeah. People that know how to think. They, they know rationally. How. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I always thought. You went to Harvard? You went to Yale? Man. Oh, that man's somebody, man. That dude. You know how much that education cost? Man, it's crazy. But I'm going to show you what this educated black man said on The View. <laughs> Let's talk about your new book. It's called Allow Me to Retort, <laughs> A Black Guy's Guide to the Constitution. Tell us about the Pause book. Pause it right there. Youth. Hey, well, just because you're black... It, it, that it's better? <laughs> What's black? I mean, I would be pissed off the white man's perspective when it comes. I don't want. I don't care if you're white, you're black, you're Chinese, you're from Mars. What that doesn't figure into it. Yeah, whenever you hear somebody say the black perspective, what they're really saying to you is the radical woke leftist per perspective. That's yeah. all they're saying. It has nothing to do with their skin color. It's just their. If you uh, got to name it black, it means me. Pretty much, it's gonna be a clown. It means far left. Yeah. But anyway, go ahead and keep playing. Tell us about the book. Hold up. He's even got a pick in his freaking... <laughs> he's got a what? <laughs> you didn't see the hair pick in his head? He, he's got a what? He's got the daggone black fist hair pick. Go back to that image. He's got a hair pick in his head. Oh, man, that's disrespectful right there. Well, it's uh, not disrespectful. It's a black thing, and I get it. No, man, that's cool. You ain't gonna never see me walking around with an Afro pick in my head. <laughs> that's cooning, ain't it? <laughs> that's disrespectful. I mean, I put that in the same... I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's a culture thing, walking around with a pick Who in your head. Who walks around I with mean, a... if I see a white woman walk around with a comb in her head, I'm like, hey, you forgot a comb in your head. <laughs> but when you see a black dude do it, oh, it's cool. <laughs> that's a good point, man. That's a damn good point, man. What? See, man, black people, y'all getting too many privileges, man. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all get to stick combs in here and just walk around like, yeah, get to walk around with your pants hanging around your knees. <laughs> <laughs> they rebels, man. You damn but Y'all say it's such thing as white privilege. You have to admit there's such thing as black privilege. It's you know it's no such thing as white privilege or black privilege. It's just privilege. Yeah, you know what? You right, man. See, Man. we're a product of our environment. You put a bunch of crazy people on TV, yeah. and you start to pick up things, and, yeah. it, and it brings you down, man. We should, be, we should be trying to work together. Yeah, all right, let's keep rolling. He's privileged. Yeah, keep rolling. Constitution. Tell us about the book Idiot. and why you thought, why you wanted to write it. Yeah, so what I'm trying to do with this book is explain in layman ter layman's terms what Republicans are doing to the law. Obviously, Hold up. Hold up, can I say something? See, what Republicans <laughs> are doing... What do you mean? What, what do you mean Republicans doing? Don't we supposed to be working together? You're pinning Republicans or liberals versus Republicans? Yeah. It's not about that. It's about the United States of America. It's about liberals, conservatives coming up together and, you know, working things out together. It ain't not about us versus them. Yeah. I mean, for the last, what? You're, he's being div divisive. Yeah, like, we had Trump for four years. We're going to have Biden for four years. So the last eight years has been four and four. Yeah. Before that was eight years of Obama. So yeah. the last 16 I mean, 4, 8, 12. The last 12 out of 16 years when Biden finishes, I was been yeah. a Democrat. Yeah. So what is exactly the Republicans doing that's ruining this country? Don't don't tell me because they want somebody to show an ID card before they vote. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably what he's saying. Ellie? Yeah. You, his name is Ellie what? Ellie, Ellie Mistal. Ellie, you crazy as hell, man. <laughs> <laughs> then go ahead, go ahead, keep rolling. Republicans what Republicans are doing, are doing to the law. Obviously, trying to manipulate those laws to take away the rights of minorities, women, the LGBTQ community. You can see it all, and I try to explain it all in ways oh. that people can understand. Okay, let me say something. How, how are you doing What that? rights do women, minorities... What are the rights that minorities and women don't have that, like, say, white people have? And a lot of people would argue gay people got more rights than anybody. You can't even criticize them. Yeah, I can't even crack a joke. All my shows get canceled. I say one gay joke, I can't go back out. <laughs> but I can call black people the N-word. I can make fun of white people all I want. As a black if, man. I, if I say anything against somebody that don't know what their pronouns are, I, I get banned. <laughs> black people can make millions of dollars saying the N-word repeatedly in there. So, I mean, but 
what are the things gay people, what rights gay people don't I've have never that seen, people have? I've never seen somebody from the LGBTQ, blah, 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 go up to a voting booth and say, hey, I like to vote. Hey, get the hell out of here. Look, you, you, you a man wearing a dress? You can't vote here. This is a civilized country we got here. You can get out of here. I've, I've never seen anybody turn away from I've voting. never heard of any black person being turned away. Maybe because they don't have ID. Hell, I voted without an uh, ID, and I'm black. I guess I have to show my paperwork. Yeah. Yeah, she didn't care. She, you know why? Why? They thought she was going to vote Democrat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, we got one. We got a person of color. Hey, don't ask for his ID. You know he's too stupid. <laughs> He can't use the computer. These people don't know how to get an ID. You know he's going to vote for Biden. Let's go ahead and get him a pass. Yeah, I mean, Biden, I mean, he's not saying that Biden said this. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and keep rolling. Yeah, Biden said that. Fight them. Some will say, okay, so are you arguing for throwing out the Constitution? Should the Constitution be thrown out? What do we do? Is it a living document? Is it a, or is it a sacred document? It's certainly not sacred. It's right? certainly it's not sacred. sacred. <laughs> trash. <laughs> now, well, let's just, again, let's just talk as adults for a what second. Yeah, say? please, talk as it's adults. Kind of trash. 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 It, was, it was written by slavers and colonists and white people who were willing to make deals with slavers and colonists. They didn't ask anybody to look like me what they thought about the Constitution. Mm -hmm. They didn't say, oh, Jim, come over here. What do you think about this old Constitution? Yeah. Well, Massa, I sure don't like how you sell my children. <laughs> um, but I gotta say, man, this King George, he needs to be stopped. <laughs> my, my grandpappy used to say, ain't no taxation without representation for massa like that's not what happened okay. all right pause this hey anybody that makes fun of slavery and people are laughing at you you are the biggest idiot in the room yeah they're laughing at you mocking slavery i mean if i do that as a conservative oh man i'm the new face of white supremacy <laughs> <laughs> but you do it and people laugh at it yeah i mean it's only one of the ladies are laughing i guess she's i like, heard some of the audience man yeah, but that was uh, disrespectful, man. He mocking our ancestors like that. Yeah, so a black man. Yeah, mocking our people. Let me let me say talking something. down to him like it's a joke, man. Yeah, he needs to be canceled. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me say this. Okay, so because white people wrote the Constitution, it should be thrown out. Well, I, he's pretty much saying because they were slave owners and they were colonized. Well, nobody's perfect. Like, for example... Um, He's doing ad, ad hominem attacks. He's yeah, attacking yeah, people's character. Yeah, instead of attacking the document itself. Yeah. It's like you... you uh, Like, let's say somebody vile and... Um, the most vile, disgusting human being on this planet. Yeah, give me one. Hitler. He's the most vile, disgusting human being that's ever lived on this planet. He's the worst. Well, I don't know him, Genghis Khan. I'll just go with Hitler. Just go with Hitler. Let's keep person. it simple. Um, yeah, <laughs> Hitler, right? Let's say Hitler comes up with the cure for cancer. Just because he's an evil white supremacist, you're just going to throw out the fact that he came up with a cure for cancer? Yeah. What if he came up with the cure with herpes? Just going to throw that out the window? Cause just going to keep having outbreaks every six months? <laughs> no, nah, man. I ain't taking that, man. That white supremacist came up. I'm going I'm to I'm stick with these outbreaks. <laughs> I'm going to stick out with these sores, all this, all this ripping, all this burning. Out in hell, no. I'm just, no, man. I got, I, I got my morals. <laughs> You crazy as hell. Attack the document. Attack the document. So let me say this. You, um, your interpretation of white people is just you don't want nothing to do with white people. Like, everything about you is white. Yeah, you even stole that haircut from a white man. Albert Einstein. Huh? You ain't fooling nobody. <laughs> your name, Ellie Mistal? Is that French? <laughs> yeah. You even wearing suits. That was a white European thing. Yeah. I mean, black people's more about sandals and gold sheets and gold <laughs> chains. <laughs> I mean, that's in Africa, right? The uh, pharaohs, they wore like... That's you know, our like, people, man. Like blankets, and but there was gold blankets. They had it woven yeah. in and it just walked yeah. around. You know, that everything about you is European white. Even the way you talk, the way you uh, enunciate your words is white. There's nothing black about you. Well, I wouldn't say the way he talks is white. It's oh, yeah, the way white people talk like that, man. Yeah, educated. You know how <laughs> black people talk. Look, listen to us, how we talk. <laughs> well, we talk the way we talk because we're from the South. Yeah. Because white and black in the South sound the same. Yeah. You do what you right, man. I'm over here being racist. Yeah, man, you over here, you being over here. I'm over here being a new white face or white, I mean, black face or white supremacy. Let, let me, no, it's, it's not It's not that he sounds white. Yeah. He sounds like a person that's typically educated from a certain part of the country. Yeah. That's why he sounds, it's not because he's sounding white. Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to say. Like from, Snoop Dogg sounds the way he sounds because he's from South Central. Yeah. 
It's not that he's sounding black. That's just exactly you know the way me you sound is because we from a real rural area. Yeah. We don't from where we from. We don't speak our words from beginning to end. Yeah, like we don't say tomato. I mean tomato. We say tomato. Yeah, we got that from daddy. Yeah. <laughs> Daddy could. Daddy was crazy. Yeah. Daddy wouldn't say liquor. He'd say liquor. Yeah. But everything <laughs> about you was like white European, like yeah. the people who wrote that constitution. Mm -hmm. Anyway, keep rolling. It's more this trash? Like, that's not yeah. what happened. Okay. Right? This document was written without the consent of black and brown people in this country and without the consent of women in this country. And I say if that, if that, if that is the starting point, mm -hmm. the very least we can do is ignore what those slavers and colonists and misogynists thought and interpret the Constitution in a way that makes sense okay, for our um, modern world. That's okay, so I get that. When the Constitution was written, it was mm -hmm. by white people who owned slaves. Okay, I get that. Yeah. But over time... Um, <laughs> You know, the minorities, the women have spoken up, and that's why we have amendments to the Constitution. That's why we had a civil war. I mean, that document is not a—it's a living document. You can make changes to it. No document, As no contract is, is, is perfect. I mean, I get updates on my damn— my damn cell phone plan every month. Yeah, my, I get I get new amendments to my damn bank account. Nothing, everything <laughs> changes. Yeah, I guys got, got a my damn Netflix bill is going up. Yeah, as society changes and evolves. Yeah, amendments to the Constitution if it makes sense. Because so, no document is perfect. Yeah, so blacks, women, minorities, they have had a say so. Over yeah. the years. So what you just said is a flat-out lie. In fact, that Constitution gives you the ability to say what you're saying. Yeah. That document is not trash. Your education from Harvard is trash. <laughs> yeah. But the Constitution is not. The very same document you are trashing, allowing you to perform all this trash you're doing on TV. Yeah, yeah. Your education is trash. You are, you are a New York Times bestseller. That Constitution has allowed you to do that, but you're going to trash it every moment you get because the things that come out of your mouth is irrational and stupid. Yes, yeah, it's, it's... Keep rolling. Jackass. Do you want to rewrite it? I could, right? <laughs> I, could, I could rewrite parts of it in a tweet, right? Like, how about popular election for the, for, for the president? Mm -hmm. um, people vote, not land. That's not even in there, is it? I'm saying yeah, I'm land vote. Right. <laughs> oh, for <laughs> Democrats. <laughs> they get shown up. Term limits right. for Supreme Court justices. And mm -hmm. how about no states' rights when it comes to health care, elections, policing, and guns? Right. Wow. This dude, <laughs> pull it, pull it, come in. Yeah. This dude is a straight-up communist. Look, it's okay. First of all, the popular vote. He said. Land people vote, not land. That's a straw man. Is a misrepresentation of that argument. Yeah. The whole purpose of the electoral college is for everybody's voices to be heard. Yeah. What's important for somebody in Los Angeles? It's not important for a, a man or woman in Mississippi. Yeah. Or vice versa. Yeah. Um, the electoral college is to make sure that you know Los Angeles, mm -hmm. um, Chicago, New York, yeah, Miami doesn't figure in and settle all our elections for us. Yeah. They want everybody from all walks of life, because this is the United States of America. This is not America. <laughs> not the United States of Chicago, San Francisco, yeah. Miami, New York City. Yeah. Because if you did away with the Electoral College, the only people's voices that will be heard is the major yeah, the major cities. Major cities, Chicago, is, New York, San Francisco, New York. Which is ran by liberals. Yeah. That's, that's why you want that changed. Yeah. But we, the United States of America, you, it's like you, you want to trash the Constitution, but you skipped over so much shit. Yeah, you didn't, you, and you know this. You have a, de, I would think Harvard would, you got a, a degree yeah. in U.S. government. I'm pretty sure they covered why we have an electoral college. Do you even know what a state is? Yeah, it's the United, yeah. It's, it's not a, this is not Ukraine. Yeah. This is not, um, uh, Liberia or Siberia, what a, <laughs> in the country, Libya, Morocco, this ain't damn, uh, this ain't damn, uh, this ain't damn Pakistan. This yeah. is the United States of America. Everybody yeah. voices are here. And then he says he wants the government to take care of elections, gun rights, and health care. So you won't want the federal government to legislate on my rights on owning a gun. Yeah, he... There should be state rights. Yeah. It should fall under the Constitution, as, which is federal, but it should, it should stay under the state's rights because what's important to somebody in Arizona or Texas may not be important to the people who live in the state of Virginia or New York. Right. The state should maintain their rights. I mean, 
You want the government to handle health care? Everything the government... Imagine, go to the VA. The yeah. CID, that's a government-ran hospital. Yeah, anything that's government-ran is going gonna, gonna to be it's garbage. You're just going to be a number at that point. Yeah. The best thing to deal with health care is let the private sector yeah. handle it because you have all these companies competing against one another. Yeah, for competition. For, for com um, And they're going to provide better service. If the government takes care of your health care, they're it. just going to say, here, T this is your service, and you're going to love to love it. You want Deal with it. I don't want the government overseeing my rights on how on what health care I, I, I decide to go with yeah, exactly. or, or my gun rights or my rights in general. I think that should be up to the individual, not the federal government. Yeah, I mean, the federal government writes the Constitution, right. and we follow by the Constitution. Right. I have no problem with that, but the states should still have their rights. Right, that's what I meant, yeah. Because when the federal government, I mean— Man, <laughs> I mean, if our federal government was logical and rational like they once were, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't have a problem with it. But it's so much. Yeah. I mean, y'all want to take control of elections. I don't want the federal government to take. Each state should be able to take care of that. Yeah, because in some of these states in this last election, I don't trust what happened. Yeah, and that and that's not a conspiracy theory. I mean, that's a legitimate concern all Americans should have. I don't. Tr I don't want to. That last election seemed real shady to me. Yeah. And y'all thought the very same thing when Trump got elected. Yeah. Y'all said he colluded with Russia. But when y'all won, it's like, man, no, this is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't see what's the problem with the Electoral College. The last 12 and the last 16 years has been a Democrat. Yeah. It's working just fine. Yeah, it's just uh, Obama won both. I yeah. mean, it's fine. If you want to win the presidency, you either got to win both or just win the Electoral College. Yeah, it's some more trash we got to watch, right? I think so, yeah. Oh, shit. Look at a nice face. <laughs> that's, just, that's just better, and you can do that next week. Can't so. the amendments help you some of that? Well, here's the problem with the amendment process. Really fast yeah. now. I got 20 <laughs> seconds. The problem with the amendment process is that the, for the, in, in, in American history, there have been 115 people allowed to interpret what the amendments mean. 108 of them have been white. Nah. Okay. That's a problem. Nah. Well, you are certainly a... That dude's a racist. I mean, he's a uh, provocateur. Yeah, I mean, what well, at the end, um, it's kind of cut off, but um, the, the, the view, they start laughing at the end. They say he's mm. a... He's a. Uh, I mean, they were actually laughing at at him in, right. instead of with him. Yeah. Cause he's more like a provocateur. You're you're actually a joke. Yeah. I mean, you could totally tell if you go watch the full interview at the end of this inter interview yeah. how the ladies are, and they are far left. They yeah. are far left. Yeah. And from their body language and how they was reacting to him when that show ended. Yeah. They were laughing at him. Yeah. You're a joke. It was just trying to help you sell your book, that crappy book you came out with, cause you're black. That's the only reason why you're on that show. Yeah. They probably actually feel sorry for you. Because <laughs> they, I mean, if you get blank looks from the view, yeah. when it's coming to far less stuff, and they're giving you a blank look, mm -hmm. yeah, you pretty much, bottom and, of the barrel, you're an idiot. And the way you were you were making fun of slavery and they're laughing at you. Yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just yeah. I mean, that show is trash. Yeah. Constitution, that show is trash. Your education is trash. Yeah. You're just a trash human being, actually. <laughs> you actually suck balls. <laughs> it's a damn good show. Yeah. We got some new shows coming. We're coming to Des Moines, Iowa, Cedar Rapids, Iowa, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Green Bay, Wisconsin, Fort Smith, Arkansas, Joplin, Missouri. Man, we're coming to Visalia, California, Bakersfield, California, Decatur, Alabama, Tacoa, Georgia. We just had a third show in Tacoa, Georgia. We're coming to Great Falls, Montana, Idaho, Falls, Idaho, Irvine, California, Louisville, Kentucky, Hazard, Kentucky, Lexington, Kentucky, all kinds of Kentucky. <laughs> we're coming to Fort, Fort Mill, South Carolina, Liberty, South Carolina. We're coming to Jacksonville, Florida, and West Palm Beach, Florida. Go to HorseTwinsTour.com for tickets. Hey, everybody. Drop into MyPillow.com and get up to 66% off. Yeah, support Mike as he helps the Freedom Convoy. Yeah, look, he just jumped out of the chopper, man. Man, Mike's a damn patriot. I hope he didn't make that damn purse you did there, MyPillow. <laughs> that shit ain't gonna work. <laughs> you gonna die, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget, go to officialhorsetwins.com. Go to the Fight Censorship tab, hit the links, follow us on Telegram, follow us on Rumble, and follow us on YouTube. They haven't censored us there yet. Yeah, they're actually being fair. Yeah. Go to officialhorsetwins.com and pick you out a patriotic t-shirt today. Hell, I'm even giving you 20% off. Just type in discount code Chinese virus. We call it Chinese because it's from China. We making t-shirts great again. Yeah.